Okay. Um, so the question was, uh, or let's do a little lecture, I guess, on this type of a problem. Um, when you see something like this um, and they're asking for redox stuff, okay? So we want to think about um, the different types of reactions. And when you see a reaction like this, um, you should be able to tell it's a redox reaction because uh, when you have these two different metals uh, uh, reacting together, uh, oftentimes if there are different oxida oxidation states, what you'll have in the product is um, uh, a redox reaction where the uh, different atoms have kind of switched oxidation states. One has raised its oxidation state and one has lowered its oxidation state, okay? So the first thing, um, this, this reaction, this is kind of giving you some clues as to how to finish it, okay? Or at least the starting materials of this reaction are. So um, first thing you want to do is look at the starting materials, put your arrow there because you have to finish your reaction, okay? So when it says two and just a plus one, it's kind of giving you a clue as to what the oxidation state of zinc is supposed to be, okay? okay. So zinc and silver are both transition metals, so um, they don't have regular oxidation states, or at least unless you memorize their oxidation states, you wouldn't know them, okay? Um, but the clue that this is kind of giving you is to um, tell you that zinc is in a two plus oxidation state. The one thing you want to do is remember that when it doesn't have a plus or a minus, remember that is at oxidation state of zero. Okay, so plus means plus one, okay? So there's two plus ones, so this is at an oxidation state of zero, so when they switch, it's gonna be going to zinc plus two, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so let's just write that down. Okay, and in chemistry lingo, we don't say plus two, we say two plus, okay? And um, the other thing that's happening here is that silver is going to an oxidation state of zero. Okay, so they're kind of, like I said, switching oxidation states, okay? Uh, but we still have two silver atoms, okay? The, we can't create or destroy matter, so we've got to put that two over there, okay? So if you start with two, you're going to end with two, okay? Right, but it's at silver zero now, okay? okay. So um, whenever you see something in a chemical equation that doesn't have a charge on it, it's always at oxidation state zero. So we usually don't even show this unless we're doing like redox reactions or um, electrochemistry or something like that, okay? okay. Um, so that's the, that's the finished equation there, okay? So now let's talk about, what did it ask? Uh, what is the oxidiz oxidizing agent, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. is it an, uh, an oxidizing agent? Okay, which one is an oxidizing Well, we'll figure out which one's the oxidizing agent and all of that business, okay? So in a redox reaction, um, the way I always remember it, um, especially when we're doing gen chem stuff, in organic it's a little different, okay? So um, the rules uh, for gen chem are um, very good to remember, but uh, when you're doing it organic, you can do a little shortcut is what I'm saying. Um, so, uh, when we're talking about gen chem, and the reason I'm saying that to anybody who's watching this is because I have two students here, one's a gen chem student and one's an organic student, okay? Um, but when we're doing gen chem stuff, we want to remember uh, the acronym, uh, Leo the Lion says GER, okay? So, Leo and GER. You think you can remember that? Leo the lion says Gerd. Yeah, okay. So what does this mean? It means lose electrons, that's oxidation. Yeah, you remember this from Jim Kim, right? So lose electrons. I use oil rig. Yeah, oil rig is another one, right? Um, is oxidation. And gain electrons is reduction. Okay? So uh, in Texas, I think, um, since I've been here, people use oil rig much more. I think it's um, kind of 
culturally more significant than Leo the Lion's sister. Anyways, uh, so when we look at these things, we're gonna remember, so remember electrons are negatively charged, right? So when we're losing electrons, what's happening here? So zinc is going from zero to plus two, right? Mm -hmm. So do you see that thing get lost electrons, right? Yes. It gained, silver gained electrons, because remember the electron's a negative one, if I give, so pretend we only have one silver, if I added a negative one to that, I give silver zero, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, okay? Yeah. So um, what happened here? It gained electrons, right? So this thing from here to here, it got reduced. Does that make sense? Yeah. And another way to think about it is that this number here gets lower or reduced, okay? That's the way it's, that's like why the nomenclature is there, right? Po positive one going to zero, that's reducing that number. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if that got reduced, remember this is a redox reaction, okay? The other thing got oxidized, right? So zinc went from zero to plus two, right? It lost electrons, so it got oxidized. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now we've got to think of which is the oxidizing agent and which is the reducing agent, okay? So when we think about zinc got oxidized, right? So the other thing has to be the oxidizing agent because it got, because zinc got oxidized. So this thing is oxidizing zinc. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So this silver plus is the oxidizing agent. Okay. okay. It's really easy to get these kind of things back. So you got to kind of, uh, what do you say, uh, use this kind of train of logic. If you do it this way, you'll never get them wrong, okay? And then, of course, uh, the other one's going to be the reducing agent, right? Okay, so if we look, right, um, silver got reduced, so something else must have reduced it, right? The only other thing in there is thing. Does that clear up your? Yeah, I and mean, then one of the, because the, the part two of the question was, what are the electrons, whatever, like the numbers in the bottom? Um, I don't know if that's the question I'm asking, but. So I, it's probably what, you know, what we did first, is like figure out what the oxidation states of these two Atoms. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm so sure like that's zero, what it was. Two, two, yeah, zero. so, or it could have asked, what's the change in oxidation number? Okay. 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 So, um, let's do that question. What's the change in oxidation number from uh, the reactants in zinc to the products of zinc? Okay? okay. So, are we going from zero to plus two, right? Okay. So, that change is a plus two change, right? Okay. If we're going from plus one to zero, that's a negative one change. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? So, uh, change in oxidation of zinc is going from a zero to a plus two, so it's a plus two change, right? And change, remember delta is change, okay? Of oxidation of uh, silver, is going from a plus one to a zero, so it's a negative one change. Okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, any other questions about it? No. Okay, cool. Uh, should we kill it? Sure.